One thing that query storage users have to deal with is, is the problem of multiple environments. Frequently they'll have a dev environment, maybe a QA or a staging environment, and of course production environment, and there may be other environments beyond that. And one of the things they're often asked to do is to fire a set of query pairs uh, off at a different environment. So how do you handle that? Well, if you consider the basics, let's say you've got a library of query pairs built. And as you can see, uh, for these query pairs that I'm opening up here, they're all going against on source side Z City Source and on the target side DW Target. And so if we needed to uh, work with these in a couple of different environments, the obvious thing to do would be to simply change uh, each of these at uh, the query pair level. But of course, that's uh, potentially a very long and possibly error prone process, not ideal, and we don't urge you to do it. We have a feature to deal with this, and the feature works on the suite uh, level. So let's say we create a suite, uh, and let's call it uh, address dim1, and we are going to pull in all of our uh, address dim queries and save that suite. Uh, now, uh, as normally set up, this suite, when we execute it, will run using the connection set on the query surge level. Uh, but let's say we wanted to set uh, this exact suite up so we could run it against a completely different environment. So I'm going to create another suite. Called address dim2. And I'm going to save that, and I'm going to populate it with exactly the same query pairs, except what I'm going to do with address dim2 is I'm going to now go over to this properties tab. And one of the key properties of uh, a suite is this connection override behavior. And uh, the default for this is do not override. And what that means is do not override the connections that are available for each of these query pairs at the query pair level. For this particular suite, though, what I'm going to do is check test suite. And what that override is going to allow me to do is to override any connections I want to at the test suite level. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to uh, leave the source connection as is. I'm not going to change that. But I'm going to change the target connection to DW upgrade. And now if I save this, when this suite is executed, it is going to execute against whatever source connections exist at the query pair level, but it's going to execute with the DW upgrade target connections uh, that are set here at the suite level. Note that this change doesn't affect anything at the query pair level. If I go back to my query pairs and I look at their connection, uh, they're all going to say the original connection because overriding at the suite level doesn't affect anything at the query pair level. So using this mechanism, you can point your suites at any pair or individual sets of co co connections that you want to uh, without affecting anything or changing anything at the query pair level. And that allows you to point wherever you want to on a really on a moment's notice uh, so that you can uh, uh, be flexible with regard to where you execute your tests.